everybody, Bad Eagle here, and welcome to Let's Play Dust, an Elysian Tale. Now, I tried recording this a couple days ago, but it didn't work, so I'm gonna try again. <laughs> uh, this is a game that my brother Eric recommended to me. He said it's one of the best games he's played in a long time, and if you remember, Eric is actually the one who recommended Cave Story to me. And I'm just completely burned out on Cave Story right now. Like, I haven't released any videos of it because there's nothing to show. I've been stuck on that boss that I died on for since I released that video. Like, it's insane. And I'm just burned out. And this is where I got yesterday, but I'm, uh, I'm starting over, so... Uh, just delete this file. Wait. Uh, Alright. So, we're starting over! And let me tell you, this game is fantastic! Holy cow! Like, the graphics look like they were drawn, like, by hand, by a professional in Photoshop, like... Our world has fallen to fade. And also the... Its great works long since complete. Its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium long since forgotten the voice it voice acting. what was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war it's really good and it was in this our most desperate hour like really that the greatest of elysian tales began the lone warrior stood against an army slashing his way through all who opposed him I swear. the mob stood no chance and the soldier Show no mercy. Heard him before. But despite his victories, his skills, his ruthlessness, the valiant soldier would perish on this day. And also the game plays awesome. Not to the mob, but to a single child. Observe. Check this out. Hang on. Oh. No, that wasn't, like, that didn't show much, but it's really fun. Like, I would recommend this game to anybody, and I've only played, like, a little bit of it. Dust. Dust. Arise. Also, the art style is really cool. Like, it looks like a mixture of... What? A talking sword? What are you? Only that which you have summoned. Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise and claim the blade of Ara. Like, the art style is sort of like a mixture of Disney and... <sighs> Stop! Stop right there! And who is she? Me? I'm Fidget! Guardian of the sword! No offense, but aren't you a bit... well... small? For a guardian, I mean. Hey, I just look after that thing. After 200 years, nobody expects the sword to just fly off and start, you know, talking. I'm kind of wishing somebody told me this was part of the job description. Or maybe they did, and I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes. Alright, I'm gonna take a minute. The art style looks sort of like a mixture of, like, Disney, like a touch of Disney with, in, like, Two Kinds, that webcomic by, uh, Tom Fishbach. Um, I'll, I'll put a link up, uh, in the description below. I'll put a link to, uh, Two Kinds. It's a great comic. I really like it. Um, but it's like that with a twinge of, like, Disney-ish look to it. And the voice acting is really, really high quality, but I swear I've heard these guys somewhere before. I don't know where, but, like, especially, like, Fidget, I swear I've heard her voice before, but I can't remember where. I'm sorry, I think I misheard before. You said your name was Fidget? Hey, this isn't about me. You're the one who's got my sword. How about you tell me your name? I'm, uh... Calm yourself, Fidget. His name is Dust. And he is the one who woke me from my slumber. So, Fidgets, then. That's me. And you're... Dust? 
It would seem that way, though I can't recall that name. Hmm. Amnesia. Convenient plot device. So, what is this sword? I am the Blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yes, well, that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I... I, I challenge you! The winner gets the sword! Challenge me to what? Well, I... Alright, alright, you win. But don't think I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. But, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing, you know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Ara? The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside, and from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? I really need to get it back home before anyone notices it's uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. Also, what is Fidget? Is she like a fox or a bat or what? What's this way? I don't remember. Let's go this way. I'm gonna go this way. I went the other way this last time. Oh, oh. Yeah, I did that. I think. I don't know, I can't remember. walking along. Also, this game runs really smoothly on uh, low-end PCs, like I really don't have that great of a computer, I've said that many times, but the game runs so smoothly, like I love it, it makes me really happy. I think I'm gonna do like a really long, um, gonna, I think I'm gonna play this all the way through. Going up. Let's beat up the wall. Wall chicken! I love that. It's like... I really appreciate that the game... Hmm. What is it, Fidget? Well, my kind has what you'd call a sixth sense. And there's something just ahead. Also, she's navvy. She's navvy. And I like that. Oh, right, this. I can do that now. I can dodge. Yep. <laughs> Hang on. I'm gonna go look at this first. Whatever's down here. There's nothing down here! Yay! I don't think I did that last time. I think I just kept moving. But, anyways. Eric said this was kind of like a Metroidvania-style game. And I really like that it, um... Acknowledges, like... The, um... Like, the with the wall chicken... That's like straight from Castlevania, and I think that's really funny. And it's a really great nod to like the games that came before it in its new style. Although, to be honest, this sword is way cooler than the wa MORE WALL CHICKEN! Treasure. Okay. In ancient times, our greatest possessions and staunchest allies were locked away using powerful magic beyond our comprehension. The only way to reclaim these lost treasures is to use the magically attuned keys strewn about our world. I only hope there is enough time to free them all. There's people in these chests? I didn't read that note last time, so... But yeah, now I got wall chicken. Oh, right! We found a chest! Yeah. Correction. We found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era, and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key, then. Also, I think it's really interesting that Dust and Fidget and all the character characters are, like, 2D, almost like sprites, but the sword is 3D rendered. So I like the lock picking mechanic, it's really interesting. Ding, 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 ding. It's a lot easier than picking locks in Skyrim, might I add. 
What's this way? Can I go this way? Oops. Nope. I just ate a wall chicken without meaning to. I wasted it. I'm ashamed. I've brought dishonor to my clan. Let's go this way! Deer! <laughs> yeah, that caught me off guard last time like it spooked me. Hello. Hello, Bambi. Hey. Okay, bye. Uh-oh! Bad guys. Now comes my favorite Calm part. Calm yourself, Fidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. No, no! Mash the buttons! Do something! Mash the buttons! Okay. Yeah! Yes! Oh. It makes you feel so strong and I love it. Whoa. Nobody said anything about monsters. Strange. Where did I learn these skills? You wield the blade of Ara, and with it, all the skills imbued therein. Uh, hello? Monsters? Is that why I summoned you? To control this power? It is unlikely, Dust, that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. There is a village beyond these woods. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters? Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. That's reassuring. <sighs> and to think, this morning started off so well. At least take these feeble fruits. Feeble Something fruits. Something tells me you're going to need them. I am, actually. I get hit a lot. Like, I've said this before, I don't really pay attention to my health when I'm playing games. So, when I get low, I usually stay low. Also, save! Yes! Yes! Alright, so I'm gonna cut it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you want. Tell all your friends it's the best way to help the channel grow. I am gonna be playing this game for a while. We'll see you guys next time. Later!